If they do well in those classes, who knows? They might start up their own businesses when they grow up. More and more of us are, aren't they, Simon? That's absolutely true, Bill. You know, this is quite an important thing to get kids started in, um, you know, finance. For you know, for example, when they have a mobile fi phone or stuff, they need to know how much money to top it up. And mm. you know, we're becoming sort of, you know, financial beings earlier and earlier uh, in life. And many young people, as Bill says, starting our own business. In fact, the number of people in, uh, starting their own business increased by 117 percent in the last five years. And crucially, they're being very successful. These are very resilient businesses in the downturn, according to research by Experian. That's good news for people like Nick Trowan, who set up his burrito bar business last year. Last year I was a student um, doing a master's at the London School of Economics and at that point I was thinking that I wanted a job in the city. Uh, it was mid-recession, I thought I want a safe place I can go and get my pay packet at the end of the, uh, the month. But uh, halfway through after thinking over a lot and having a, a few negative job applications, um, the idea of sort of being an entrepreneur came forward. It was a combination of wanting to start my own business and also not really having the uh, opportunities that I wanted coming from the uh, city job sector. And I think that if you have a really good idea and you pitch it well enough, you do your research and you have your numbers to hand, uh, then you should be able to convince people that you're onto the right track and solicit funds. People don't want to just leave their money in a bank where it's gaining 0.01% interest. Well, Tom Buick is